steel needle stabbed into the girl's temple, which is the most advanced intelligent monitoring system. After the chip is implanted in the child's head, parents can view all the information about the child through electronic devices, including positioning, health status, etc., and even through the child's first view of what she sees in real-time broadcast to the screen. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. Mommy, it's funny. What's more convenient is that this product has a parental control function. All the content that will cause the child's emotions to fluctuate greatly, such as scenes of violence, etc., will automatically be pixelated, and the sound will be blurred. At first, everything seemed to be fine. The mother could not only keep track of her daughter's every move but also give her daughter the appropriate nutrition based on health monitoring data. She turned on the parental control function when she passed by the neighbor's house, and the big black dog that once looked so vicious was now a mass of pixels. Not at all scary. But then came the accident. It wasn't long before he suddenly fell to the ground in pain, screaming for help. But to Sarah's eyes, the image was just a mass of pixels and inaudible noise. She had no idea what was going on. But because of Sarah's mood swings, her mother's side was called to the police. She turned off the pixelation only to find that her father had fallen ill. Although grandpa was resuscitated, the mother didn't notice the confused look in her daughter's eyes. She was afraid to get close to her grandfather again. While her mother became more and more dependent on the monitor and had to turn it on every now and then. Sarah! One cookie! Bad for your teeth! Even if Sarah was swinging in front of her, she had to know what her daughter was looking at. And in the name of love, Sarah grew up carefree. Grandpa died without a trace of sadness. And ironically the mother's crying expression at the funeral became a pixel in the daughter's eyes. The mother did not realize that this parental control was destroying her baby girl step by step. The girl is determined to pierce her fingertips with a pencil. But the moment the blood flows out, it turns into a pile of pixels. I don't know when Sarah started to realize that the world she sees is different from others. The neighbor's big black dog was always a moving mass of pixels, and she couldn't understand the violent videos her classmates secretly watched. I want to know what you're watching. In order to satisfy her curiosity, the male classmates had to demonstrate themselves to restore the content of the video. But I didn't expect the surveillance chip in Sarah's brain to be so powerful that her mouth and hand movements were instantly pixelated as soon as the male student spoke about the key scenario. Sarah was not willing to go home to imagine the drawing on the paper with red paint to restore the classmates had blood splattered. But just painted on the picture again became a pixel. She was so angry that she sharpened her pencil and stabbed it directly on her finger. And the blood that came out was instantly pixelated. Her mother heard the alarm and immediately came to stop her but was slapped in the face by Sarah, who had been filtered out of violent images since she was a child and did not understand what violence was, but became irritable. Doctors diagnosed Sarah with cognitive impairment. And the reason is the surveillance chip in her head. Because once the chip is implanted, it can never be removed. The doctor advised the mother to turn off the parental controls and throw away the electronic devices to give Sarah a normal childhood. The mother had to do as she was told. And after turning off the blocking function, Sarah saw a vicious dog barking and was scared, and finally felt that the world was full of danger for the first time. She can finally watch some strange videos online with other students to accept the imperfection of the world. At first, her mother was still a bit worried that she would not be able to resist peeking at her daughter's location regularly, but after she found that everything was normal, she slowly put her mind at ease and put the electronic devices away. In six years Sarah grew up a little bit and seemed to gradually come out of the psychological shadow. She not only learned to get along with the neighbor's vicious dog, the relationship between the two mothers and daughters is becoming more and more harmonious. Sarah even made a boyfriend in order not to worry about her mother. She lied to her mother that she was going to a classmate's house to watch a movie, but in fact she was going on a date with her boyfriend. After 11 o'clock Sarah still did not come home, did not answer the phone. Contact classmates also said they did not see the mother's desire to control again. She took out the dusty monitoring electronic device again. The mother turned on the monitoring electronic device. The positioning showed that her daughter was at the lake a few kilometers away instead of in the classmate's house. She couldn't help but click on the surveillance screen and saw her daughter's boyfriend's face, so she immediately turned off the electronic device. She could not accept this fact for a while, but if she said it, her daughter would know that she was being watched and would certainly be very angry. So the mother has been holding back. After all, it is normal for her daughter to grow up in love. 
as long as nothing happens. But this electronic device is like Pandora's box. Just open the prying desire will be out of control. She played back the visual video of her daughter and found that the two did some adult things. The mother saw it and was furious at home alone. She angrily approached her boyfriend in private and told him she could see everything, and threatened him with the video in her hand to warn him not to approach Sarah again. The boyfriend had to do as he was told. And that's how Sarah lost her love for no reason at all. After several days of hardship, she finally could not resist looking for her boyfriend. But he knew he was being monitored and could only answer that they were not suitable. I can't be with you. What the fuck? But Sarah didn't stop there. That night, her mother saw on the surveillance that Sarah had a new boyfriend because she was worried about her daughter's accident afterwards. Her mother went straight to the pharmacy to buy special drugs and quietly mixed them into Sarah's food the next morning. However, Sarah did not know this until she suddenly felt nauseous and ran to the toilet to vomit. The doctor said it was a side effect of the medication. And Sarah was confused because she had never taken the kind of emergency medicine mentioned by the doctor. So she came home and frantically rummaged through the things in the house and found the package of that medicine in the trash. When she went to her mother's room, she saw the familiar surveillance device and clicked on the video recording to finally know the truth. It turned out that her mother had seen all her privacy. Sarah was so angry that she immediately packed her things and planned to leave home. When her mother came home and saw the mess in the room, she subconsciously clicked on the surveillance device again but saw her own back. You watched me. No, I, honey, honey. You watched me with I, 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 no, I didn't mean to. Give it to me. No. <laughs> Give it. I, I was trying to protect you. I was trying to keep you safe. Honey, turn it off. Everything I've done, I've done for you. The mother's pale excuse made Sarah even more angry. She swung the electronic device and accidentally turned on the parental control function. The mother's face blood and painful expression all turned into pixels because of the inability to perceive violence. Sarah did not mean to stop until the electronic devices filter, filter, off, off, off. were smashed. Sarah knew that she had made a big mistake, but she didn't choose to stay. The mother woke up and went after her. But Sarah had already disappeared, and the electronic device was completely broken. The irony is that Sarah, who had run away from home, just got into a stranger's truck. She doesn't even know where she's going, 